What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Driving H-Town. I'm your host, Anthony. Now for the past 15 plus years, I've been an over the road truck driver. I've had the privilege to meet some great people and see some beautiful places. But for the past year and a half, the market has been very ugly. So I decided to go ahead and park my truck. And for the past eight months, I've been testing the waters on these rideshare apps. I decided to go ahead and do this full time. So sit back and I hope you enjoy this episode of Driving H-Town. For my hit yeah, I do this for my rasa. Yeah. I'm pulling out clean, 26s on my yanta. Versace on my shades, I got Versace on my chocolate. Yeah. She look like Cardi B, but she got a little. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Welcome to Monday night, guys. Monday night driving H Town. I'm your host, Anthony. It is uh, Monday, December 18th, and it's 7:37. Ready, fueled up, topped off my tank. Uh, prices price went up man price went up to uh 259 so uh yeah my cash back will be um 15 cents i think i did 17 17.4 17 gallons um times 15 cents i'm getting 256 back uh, and i put 45 dollars in because right now it's 259 and uh I got it for uh, 245, so uh, well, not technically 245, but I got 15 cents back per the gallon. I got 17 gallons. Uh, but anyways, guys, hope everybody's doing well. Um, went out Saturday night as well as last night, and Saturday night I was recording, and then it, it basically told me that I couldn't record anymore because my storage was full. And uh, turns out that yeah, it was full, obviously, but. You know, all my files from my uh, trucking documents throughout throughout this past year um, consumed a lot of that space. So what I did over the weekend yesterday and uh, today was move a lot of my files over um, just in case for like tax purposes and stuff like that. But uh, my weekend was pretty good, guys. My weekend was pretty good. Last night, not so good compared to the Sundays past. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. You know, we they can't all be winners. But uh, Saturday night was my first time ever going out, you know, um, had some good riders and then I had some riders to where, you know what, you know, um, <laughs> but it is what it is, guys. You know, that's that's the game that we play and that's the risk that we take. But let me show you what I did Saturday night because I did write it down um, Saturday night on Uber. I did 161 30, 13 trips, one tip for ten dollars lift. I did 86 56, six trips. Two tips, uh, five dollars and four forty, and then uh, overall I did uh, two hundred forty-seven dollars and eighty-six cents with nineteen trips, and uh, just basically nine and a half hours, and that averaged out to about twenty-six dollars uh, per the hour. Overall, guys, from um, Monday through Saturday night, midnight, I uh, I grossed or netted um, thirteen fifty-six overall, thirteen fifty-six. Okay. Um, then of course you know we take account for the fuel and stuff like that. So, but yeah, overall I did 13.56. Normally I run Sunday through Friday, um, and then looking at my Sunday number from last week, it was similar to Saturday. Saturday. So basically I just went ahead and just you know replaced one number over the other, and it still would have came out basically the same, you know, because they were uh, similar numbers. But anyways, and then uh, last night, guys, last night I only did $190. Um, started around 9 o'clock, started late, and then uh, ended like around 4 o'clock. And it was okay, you know. Um, there was one ride that I came pretty close to telling the girl to get out of my car, okay. Actually, it was uh, two girls. One was all right, you know, her friend was okay, but the other one was uh, maybe she just had too much to smoke, okay. And she was being very, very arrogant in the back. You know, um, you know, uh, other than that, you know, we're, we're going to face issues like that, guys, to where, you know what, you need to get out of my car. You know, uh, we, we can end the trip right here. So, but being considering that they're females, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Um, plus, I went ahead and just, you know what, you know what, I, I can deal with the seven minutes that you're going to be in my car. Um, but yeah, um, other than that, guys, I fueled up, topped off, said my little prayer. Uh, my car smells pretty good. It doesn't smell like uh, hood rat nalgas. <laughs> and um, 
and also I went out for a couple hours today okay so I can't turn on my uber app till maybe um, let me see what time you know I can turn it on because you have to rest for six hours uh, or at least be offline for six hours let me see what I'm looking at uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, this was close to two o'clock um, so basically so basically close to eight o'clock I can't turn it turn them on or turn uber it um, now Lyft I can um, because I don't hardly ever you know run uber uh, I'm sorry Lyft so you know I didn't really exhaust uh, all that but let me see how much time I have left on on Lyft um, it should tell me here um, that's what I did today guys I only did a couple of trips you know like I said it wasn't that much um, I, ca I just recently cashed out as you guys know I like cashing out um, like I said I was only f online for three hours um, but yeah yeah let me go ahead and, and check this out so um, actually it looks like I can't start that either um, Okay, well, let me go ahead and look at the, the Uber, okay? Uber, that's what I have right now because I cashed out yesterday. Um, let me see, where can I check to see how much time I have left? Um, honestly, guys, I see all that's turned on. Um, my last trip today was... Uh, Honestly, guys, I really don't know where to look on here. Um, uh, nope, I don't want to look at that. Let me go ahead and cut you guys off so I won't waste any, any uh, valuable time that I can use throughout the night and figure this out real quick, okay? All right, guys, I finally figured it out. Um, to figure out how much hours you have remaining, and see what you have on the table, uh, basically, basically under Uber. Um, here on this section right here, you're all the way to the top, right? So you're gonna want to do a scroll all the way to the bottom. See where it says C, driving time. Open that up, and it's gonna tell you exactly. Um, offline time remaining, uh, and then 12 hours, basically driving time availability, okay? Uh, so I have all my drive time available, 12 hours, because it's gonna window down. So that's good. Let me go ahead and then go over to the Uber side. I'm sorry, the Lyft side. That's going to basically be on this one right here. Scroll down. Okay. You're going to tap that open. Or it says earnings. Go all the way down to see. Check how much time you have. Open that. Okay. And I've been online so far for three minutes. Okay. Um, yeah. So three minutes out of the 12. All right. So I'm good to go on both of them, guys. I'm good to go on both of them. So let me go ahead and also turn on Uber. Um, and then, and then, and then, and then. There I am. See drive time. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay. Got a full clock on my clock. Ready to rock and roll. Hopefully I got a good night coming ahead of me. Other than that, guys, you know, I wish everybody well. Thank you for so far. Um, for chiming in so far on my videos they will get better guys i will get have uh better content better details pipe better um i guess footage you know but right now i'm just going to go ahead and just get my feet wet um uh, i had a different setup when i was in my truck but it is what it is guys so uh right now i'm in my vehicle one thing i wanted to share with you guys that i said last night but i wasn't able to uh record it was that um when I come back from Florida, all right, which will be right before New Year's, um, we're going from Thursday to Thursday, okay? Um, I already have scheduled an appointment at a car dealership to go look at three cars. Now, they're not brand new cars, but they are fairly in good condition. Uh, one is a 2012 Mercedes C-Class uh, 550, um, and then another one's gonna be in, in um, Infinity. And then the other one's gonna be a uh, Honda Accord, okay? And that one's gonna be 2017. Um, the place where I'm getting it, basically we've gotten our cars there before. The last car we got was my son's uh, truck, the one we has now. Uh, so we're pretty familiar with their uh, procedure, program, and policies, and whatnot, and they're familiar with us. 
and the lady is expecting us to come and check out some vehicles because definitely guys i don't want to keep on adding miles to this this truck i hear even though i do like the the i do like it you know i get a lot of compliments on it um people wonder sometimes when i pull up uh what they order because they order uber x and here i'm pulling up an suv but you know what they really enjoy um the the space uh the comfortability that they have back there so overall guys you know you know, it is nice to have something that's going to be comfortable for our passengers. It helps out. It goes a long way. You know, um, you know, um, you know, it, to make the passenger comfortable and feel them, you know, welcome helps out, especially if, if um, you know, tips are involved like that. I don't really rely on those tips. Uh, I don't expect it, especially if the ones that tell me they're going to tip me. Um, I don't rely on those probably to the T. Okay. Uh, because sometimes it doesn't even happen, all right? Uh, they can sit there and tell you, yeah, I'm gonna tip you if you do me this favor, or whatever, whatever. You know, you go all the way to the back, pick me up in the back, you know, fine, whatever. Um, or can you pull into the store while I run in real quick and get a pack of smokes? Uh, if I know it's gonna be a quick second, you know, run into the store, then fine, I'll do it. But other than that, you know, I just tell them, you know, I'm sorry I can't, I do have another pickup after your drop. And sometimes they understand, all right? Uh, that happened to me a couple times last night. Um, let's go see what Lyft has for us. Uh, this is eleven dollars. This is going to, you know what? I know where this is at. This is a Fresno. This is right down the Beltway, and shouldn't take me that very long, guys. So let's go ahead and knock out Kiara. Okay, let's go check out Kiara. Uh, turn left, then turn left. Let's go pick up Kiara. Uh, even though I started at seven thirty, you know I fueled up. You know, cleaned up my truck real quick. Not cleaned it up, but make sure nothing was in the back. Um, Turn right. Make sure my uh, tr truck wasn't smelling like nangas. <laughs> but yeah, let me go pick up Kiara and uh, get the nice. In three guys. quarters of a mile, take a slight right on South Sam Houston Parkway East. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. All right, guys, just finished dropping off Kiara. Uh, let's see what this one is about. This is a ride share. I don't do ride shares, guys. I, you know, I've said a couple times. Uh, you don't know what it can consist of you know um, I had a bad experience I think I told you guys but just in case I didn't uh, yeah I picked up a rideshare one time and the second person we were picking them up and she was taking her sweet sweet time uh, so yeah never again you know and I know not all of them are gonna be that way but you know what I don't want to risk it okay um, because I, I you know I just don't uh, I don't you know um, but overall I mean um, and I've have also seen some good Uber pets come through the app, you know, um, and I have yet picked one up. Um, now there was a lady one time, uh, that I picked up on Uber X and she, you know, and she told me, he goes, Hey, I have a small dog. Do you mind if, if, you know, I bring him? And I said, yeah, no problem. You'll bring it. You know, as long as they ask, you know, I just don't want the lady to walk up with a big doberman pincher or whatever, you know, and wanted to bite my ear, ear off, but no, it was a small little, um, Yorkie, I think it was, uh, a little Yorkie, but, um, yeah, so, uh, Uber share, you, you know, I, I don't do Uber share, Uber share, guys, I don't, now, I have in the past, you know, just to test it out, and both times that I did it, uh, I think I told you guys, they were by themselves, and I asked them, they go, hey, I said, uh, where's the other person, like, oh, no, it's just me, you know, I do Uber share because, um, you know, you guys get here quicker, you know, which to me, I don't know how that is. So, but anyways, Kier, I was talking to Kier on the way up here, and uh, she was telling me, um, basically, which way to go because it was telling me I knew where she was going. Okay, uh, I knew where she was going. I knew the little town that she was going, which was it wasn't that very far from where I was at. All right, but it was having me go down the back roads. You know, which was going to take 27 minutes, and I and I told her, I'm like, wait a minute. I said, you're going to Fresno, right? She's like, yeah. I said, man, so I'm going to take the Beltway. She's like, yeah. She goes, take the Beltway because it always sends people the back way, which can be full of lights. Man, I, as soon as I got on the Beltway, it knocked off 12 minutes. It told me I was going to be there in 15 minutes rather than 27. Um, so I don't know how Uber and Lyft, you know, project their, their routes. But sometimes, man, you know, if I know the route and I can get there quicker and faster, then you know what? That's the route I'm taking. Okay. Uh, but she told me that as a passenger that she's allowed or she can choose um, depending where, you know, where she's going to uh, to avoid, you know, tolls. 
Uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know a passenger can can uh, select that option. Um, if it's gonna make the trip shorter, you know, now they get charged for it. You know, um, but it is recommended to them that you know if you avoid tolls, you know your your route, you know your rate will be cheaper. You know, and if it makes a big difference, you know, she says that she, you know I'll, I'll choose it. But if not, then I'll go ahead and just pay for the tolls to get me there faster. So I didn't know that passengers had that option to choose or not choose uh, for the driver to to use tolls. Um, but you know what? If I know the route, if I know it's going to get me there quicker rather than all these lights and, and back roads and you know um, neighborhood streets to where you can only go like 35 miles an hour, then by all means I'm going to take the take that toll. So. Uh, but anyways, guys, let me go ahead and pull into this little store. Uh, wait for my next ride. I'm at the corner of Chimney Rock and Fuqua. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and wait for my next ride, and I'll let you guys know. Peace out. What's going on, guys? I'm on my way to go pick up Steven. I believe his name, Steven. Uh, there he is up there. Um, he's going to uh, Missouri City to Stafford, which is basically, uh, basically, it's not that very far apart from each other. Okay. This is paying, what is this paying? Uh, $7. Um, not going, it's not far apart, okay? It's basically two towns uh, split by one road, I think it is. Uh, but anyways. In 400 feet, take the ramp on the left toward SHT West. One, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was that I had, I had gotten a passenger the other night. And this was Friday. In a quarter of a mile, merge left on SHT. You this, will be reimbursed for the toll ahead. This was Friday night, and um, you know, I was talking to the gentleman, and he would, you know, what he told me maybe, you know, can be construed just a little bit, you know, but you know, it, it kind of like, I won't say raise the question, okay, um, but you know, I took in consideration to work. Hmm, that's something to think about. But in 1.8 miles, use the right lane to take the exit toward US 90 Alt. South Main Street. He you will be reimbursed for the toll ahead. He was telling me that he used to be an Uber driver, Uber and Lyft driver. All right, he was making good money, you know, staying consistent. And uh, but he was deleted, and I don't know which platform he was talking about. But he was deactivated and wasn't able to drive for that platform anymore because he got too many, too many flags on speeding. Okay. Um, now I know. On the Uber side, I think, on the bottom left, you can detect how fast you're going versus what the speed limit is. Um, and then there's like a little chime that tells you, hey, you're going five miles above the posted speed limit or whatever it is. But has anybody gotten any any uh, alerts through uh, the platform saying, hey, you know, you're speeding, slow down, you know. Um, now, I do once in a while get cancellation you know alerts you know hey we noticed you canceled a couple of you know trips um if you're going to cancel it, make sure you you, tr you know you log off and log back in you know but has anybody ever gotten any alerts from the platform themselves saying that you're you know uh, excessive speeding or things to that things of that nature so uh, just just kind of take curious. the exit toward us 90 alt south main street just curious you know um you know you know put down in the comments if, if you have uh, but he, you know he told me about it he's like yeah he goes i was deactivated and i wasn't able to uh drive for that platform anymore because i had you know numerous speeding alerts you know in three quarters of a mile turn left on main street you will be reimbursed for the toll ahead so um, yeah, I, I was just wondering. I was wondering if anybody else gotten that um, alert before, or um, basically a, a notice, or whatever you want to call it. You know, kind of like a heads up. Hey, you know. And if it is, or if you have, what does it say? You know, does it say, hey, you know, um, three warnings, and then you're going to be deactivated. You know, or at least you know, um, uh, put on pause. You know, or you, you know what I'm talking about, like three strikes and then you're out. Turn left on Main Street. So, uh, yeah, I was just kind of curious, you know, if that's happened to anybody um, on the speeding, if anybody ever got an alert on their speeding or anything like that. So, uh, um, but yeah, I'm on my way to go pick up Steven and I just wanted to chime in real quick and ask you guys that, you know, um, because like I said, the other night this guy told me about it 
and it kind of just like you know like kind of opened up uh kind of opened up a curiosity if you know if he was telling me uh well i guess telling me the truth so to speak so um but yeah so let me go pick up steven and i'll let you guys know what i'm doing afterwards peace out all right guys just dropped off uh steven i picked him up at this uh man i forgot to ask him what the name of that place was so i can tell my son uh but it was like a man high high tech gym uh out here in missouri city uh upland i think it was called upland um uh, man it was whew. I thought I was going to some kind of space camper. Turn left on Southwest um, Freeway Frontage Road. But yeah, he said it's been there for like eight years. Um, I remember picking up someone there a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago actually. Um, but it was after hours, and he was some guy that was selling supplements. Uh, because I remember we were talking about Red Bull and some other stuff about amino, amino acids and uh, creatine and stuff like that. But man, I'm, right now since it's nine o'clock, you know, I went down there during uh, business hours and man it was packed um it's it's like a big warehouse you know uh man there was people everywhere and, and everything looked clean well organized and um and plus oof man there's some nice cars out there so um he said that a lot of athletes go there to train and work out so uh, but he actually is a freshman at UT that came in for the holidays um, and he plays baseball and we're talking a little bit but anyways um, yeah um, but I'm gonna go pick up this person at main event this one is paying uh, $15 $16 actually um, basically it's a quick drop off um, let me see ride requests are on you know uh, main event but yeah this one's paying uh, just shy of $16 not going that very far um, it is what it is um, I just don't know who I'm picking up right now it just says main event so uh, but it, yeah it's regular lift so far lift has been keeping me busy if it stays that way then you know what so be it okay. in three quarters of a mile turn right on Fountain Lake Drive I'm in uh, Missouri City slash Stafford slash uh, Sugarland slash uh, what's out here also um, but yeah um, Sugarland home of the Sugarland Skeeters which is basically now owned by the Houston Astros uh, yeah but this is a pretty nice area uh, this is a pretty nice area so but let me go pick up this uh, this passenger take them where they need to go and I'll touch back with you guys soon peace out all right guys Quan is dropped off and it turned out to be I didn't see no lift XL um, but you know what uh, it may have been I don't know let's, let's check let's check maybe it was and I just didn't catch it uh, was it XL yeah it was XL my bad okay um, I thought it was basically just regular lift so but anyways yeah it was uh, six Koreans uh, picking them up at main event they went out you know to enjoy the night on the town um, very talkative uh, group of bunch group, group of uh, people didn't understand one lick of word they said I was uh, but let me go ahead and get this one so I can keep on moving and like I said Lyft is keeping me busy right now so. in three quarters of a mile Turn right on Westheimer Road. Lift is keeping me busy, so I'm definitely not complaining. So uh, let me go ahead and do this real quick, guys. Remember, I tell you every time I get a ride, I go ahead and take off this one. So I'll be basically just going off the bat. But uh, you know what? I also want to, and I don't mean this in a mean, disrespectful way, man, but these. Uh, this group of bunch they must have been they must have went to a, a korean restaurant or something because they got in the car man they smell like korean food and it smelled good to be honest with you <laughs> it did it smelled good you know I, i'm not gonna hold that against them so um let me stop by real quick and i want to do something to the back seat real quick all right guys i just finished dropping off emily or emeline uh she's from south africa and now as soon as i dropped her off i got this one uh, in half a mile oh. Turn left on Rolling Rock Street. It didn't show, uh, 
use it shows what the whole detail is you know when uh, you add a trip while you're still under another one uh, but this one is paying thirteen dollars i think it was uh picking up basically almost two miles where i just dropped off uh, emmeline and uh it's not going that very far so uh, i think her name was phyllis uh, so yeah um i turned off my uh, i turned off my uh uber app uh, so i'm not running it right now um, i'm gonna see how how much i can stay busy under uh lyft so uh but yeah um I'm gonna go pick up Phyllis. Uh, looks like I'm kind of. Turn uh, left on Rolling Rock Street, then turn right on Windside Drive. <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do, just to test it out, guys, what I'm gonna do is when I come in, I don't wanna jinx myself because I'm staying consistent. Okay, well, as soon as I, I'm about to drop off one passenger, I get an add on. In 150 feet, turn right on Windside Drive. Then turn right on Windstream Drive. So if I add on, so if I add that add-on, or basically you know save it to uh, continue running. In 650 feet, turn right on Windstream Drive. I'm gonna wait till I uh, stop somewhere, and I'm gonna switch over my navigation over to uh, Google's and just test it. How annoying it can be, right? Uh, maybe it's not that as bad as we think it is, you know. Um, because I really want to see if I get better routes. Uh, to these destinations, you know, the pickups and the drop-offs, uh, because obviously all this turning and this and that and taking the long way, whatever, I really don't know why. In 700 feet, turn left on Lake Lane. I really don't know why Uber and Lyft uh, just, you know, choose those routes when obviously there's different and quicker routes. Turn left on Lake Lane. But I don't know, it's it's uh, it's left to be unseen or, or understood, so. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick up uh, Phyllis, I think is her name, and uh, take her where she needs to go, and then hopefully keep on running, you know, but like In right 700 now. feet, take a slight left on Gailey Lane. But right now, actually, all I have running right now is gonna be Lyft, so if Lyft keeps me busy throughout the night, so be it, you know, um, so be it. Take a slight left on Gailey Lane, then turn right on Windfern Lane. So let me go pick up Phyllis, uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out. All right, guys, as soon as I dropped off Phyllis, I got this one going back into town for uh, just under $18. And uh, yeah, like I said earlier, uh, Lyft is keeping me busy. I mean, I think I haven't had a chance to uh, do anything else but to accept uh, add-ons, which is fine because they, you know, they're all paying pretty, pretty decent. Okay. Um, but yeah, this one's going back into town. Um, Phyllis sent me uh, kind of out at the outer skirts up here by uh, uh, Sci Fair, uh, which is basically up to 90. Like if you're going to like Texas A&M, you know, uh, Hempstead area and stuff like that. So, but yeah, long story short, um, got this add-on, paying just under 18 bucks, going back into town. Actually Turn going right down on Tacoma Springs Drive. Actually going into uh, downtown, the, the Richmond area. So that's always a good good area to uh to stay consistent so uh let me go pick up uh i don't know who this is in 750 feet turn left on macy drive um i don't know who this is uh but you know what does it matter no as long as they're civilized decent and um got good credit <laughs> like hector up there in chicago let's, turn let's left what, on macy drive let's see then what turn kind of, left on geneva fields drive let's see what kind of credit we got let's see what kind of credit okay uh, but you know what, guys? Let me uh, keep you guys on for a second. And, uh, in 450 feet, turn left on Geneva Fields Drive. Pick then the this, pickup will be on the left. Pick up this person real quick and have you guys uh, just for like two seconds as they get into the car. And uh, let's uh, do our pleasantries together. Uh, looks like they're outside waiting for us. Uh, in 150 feet, the pickup will be on the left. Chimichanga? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, oh, it's two ladies, actually. Two ladies ready to go out. Okay. Um, hold on. Here they come. Hello. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. Chimera? That's how she pronounced her name. Uh, they're dropped off. Two ladies from uh, seniors from Baylor. Uh, home for In three quarters of a mile. 
Hope Use the left two Christmas lanes break. to keep left on Bissonnet Street. And when going out in the night to enjoy, to enjoy their uh, their evening. Uh, I'm telling you guys, it doesn't matter which night it is. Something is always, always going down in H Town. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, as soon as I dropped them off, this one popped up, and I'm gonna go pick her up. And let me see if it shows what I'm doing. Nope. Um, yeah, she's uh, four minutes, 1.5 miles down the road. Uh, this one's paying just shy of ten dollars. One popped up and it I took it because it was 15 bucks but I guess they couldn't wait so they canceled and then this one popped up so yeah guys honestly uh, there's always something going down in H Town man you know uh, it, it just all depends if you want to be in the mix on going to those areas and uh, you know just just be careful guys just be careful it doesn't matter where you're at you know which uh, which market you're in you know we're always gonna have those sketchy areas those sketchy places you know but it is what it is. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm staying busy, guys. I'm staying busy, which is good. So, uh, you guys be careful out there, and I'll talk to you guys soon once I drop off this uh, this lady, um, Lakeisha. And yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'll text you, uh, or I'll hold on. I'll uh, let you guys know what I'm doing after this. Peace out. All right, guys. All right. All right. All right. And uh, just dropped off Candace, a lady that uh, picked up from a recovery center. She was uh, she was a nurse there. But anyways, uh, just dropped her off. And I just finished cashing out, guys. I cashed out um, because before my deposit goes through, um, it was 90, 90, uh, 96 dollars. I just recently cashed out. Uh, don't pay attention to that one twenty. Yeah, it was uh, actually $95. Um, this is what I did so far. Um, 9 o'clock, um, 14, 20, 19, 9. Uh, let's see all activities. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and just cashed out real quick. Uh, uh -huh, let's look at it real quick. Uh, Yeah, it was, uh, I cashed out 90, uh, let me see if it shows it so you guys know what I'm talking about. Weekly breakdown, uh, see pay history, I just cashed out there, 9506, I just went in, and then also I cashed out 107 earlier today, so, uh, but yeah, I just went ahead and cashed out so I can start fresh overnight, uh, that's just the way I like to do things, um, you know, I normally like to cash out every day, um, but it just seems like right now I'm going to be doing it uh, on midnights uh, just to keep it going. So, turn this bad boy back on. Um, let me see where you're at. There you are right there. Um, I'm One thing that strikes me kind of odd, guys, um, one thing that kind of strikes me kind of odd is... Um, that one's going to West Belfort. Uh, no, actually, to be honest with you guys, I'm going to stay away from Bissonette, Beach Nut, and Belfort right now. Uh, when I dropped off those two girls, uh, uh, Kamara, Kamara uh, the, the two Baylor students, uh, there was something going on at that place. And I, I even asked them, I said, you still want me to drop you guys off? And they're like, yeah, yeah, drop us off, drop us off. You know, apparently something was going on, you know, and there was a lot of chaos in the parking lot. Okay. Uh, and I even asked, you know, uh, for their safety. I said, you just want me to drop you guys off and, you know, I can take you somewhere else. And they're like, no, 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 you know, we'll, we'll stay here, you know. So, hope everything goes well for them tonight. No, you know, craziness uh, because, you know, people are out there, guys. People are out there. You know, all it takes is one person to mess up the whole party for everybody. So, uh, but yeah, uh, what's, this one is going to Tacoma. You know what? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this because I know where that's at. Uh, nope, I'm not touching that. But let me go to right share where you're at. Where you're at? Ah, oh, it's gone already. San Antonio. But anyways, um, yeah. So $95 so far since I've been on the app. And then what do I have in the lift? I mean, you know. Uh, no, actually, this is today. This is today. 
okay? Uh, I know my numbers are bouncing back and forth, bouncing back and forth, but yeah, $95 um, uh, so far since I, started, since I started tonight at 8 o'clock, so uh, this is $4, you know, um, that's backtracking. Um, see my arrow, and then the person where I'm picking them up and taking them, that's behind me. Um, $4 to me, uh, it, do, it doesn't make sense. Okay, now they're in front of me and I'm going in the direction that I'm going to. Yes, by all means. Okay, uh, because time-wise doesn't make sense. All right, because now I have to go back where I just came from, pick them up and go uh, further back where I just came from. So, uh, let me go see what Trip Radar has. Open that up. This is going to be Cross Bend to uh, St. John Hayes. You know what? No. Um, cross Bend. I have a feeling that's going to be um, out there. So, but yeah, I mean, funny thing, guys, is there's always something happening in H Town, man. There's always something happening in H Town. Uh, sometimes, sometimes good, sometimes bad. <laughs> you just have to roll with the punches. You know, roll with the punches and just be careful and watch your back. You know, um, that's why a lot of people don't like driving at night. Um, they don't like driving at night because of the possibility of stupid stuff happening. But you know what? It can happen any time of the day. It can, it can happen any time of the day. Okay. You just have to be mindful on the areas that you're going. All right. And the people you're picking up. Okay. If your gut feeling tells you not to go there or not to pick them up, by all means, listen to your gut. All right. So let me go further down, guys. And uh, actually, I'm going to pull into a store, use the restroom real quick. And uh, try to get something to eat, you know. Um, while places are still open and operating, okay? Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and, and uh, find a uh, restroom, and I'll let you guys know what I'm doing next. All right, peace out. All right, guys, it is 317. Haven't spoke to you guys in a while. Uh, hit a dry spot, guys, hit a dry spot. Uh, one ride came in, and uh, man, it was sending me in circles. And I finally spoke to the guy, and the guy was like, no, this is the address. And so I put it in there, and it was sending me to a dry rail yard, okay? Um, so after going in circles, it was going downtown, paying $18. And I was supposed to pick me, picking them up at an apartment complex. It was one of those fishy situations, guys. Um, when I spoke to him, I told him, hey, it's sending me to the wrong place. He's like, well, this is the address. And then I'm like, so I sent him another text after I spoke to him on the phone because he had called me. And uh, I told him, I was like, well, it's sending me to a wrong place. It's sending me to a, like, a, like a parking lot next to a rail yard. And he was like, well, I don't know why Lyft sends you, you know, sends people there. I said, okay. I said, well, can you send me the name of the apartments? He didn't know the name of the apartments. It just seemed too fishy, you guys. It sounded too fishy to me. Uh, so I just went ahead and just dropped, dropped, um, dropped the ride. So, uh, man, I was hoping to get that ride to go towards downtown and then turn around and head back this way, you know. Um, but I haven't hit anything in the past, man. Uh, I dropped off Holly. Holly, I dropped off Steven. Steven, I dropped off, uh, um, I think it was like a couple of rides. Uh, I know I dropped off the two girls. Oh, uh, um, Devin dropped off Devin, uh, which brought me over to this side. And then I picked up Holly. I took Holly to uh, uh, Dickinson. Um, man, yeah. So it, it's been kind of like a wishy-washy uh, route that I've been taking. You know, usually I have my shit together, guys. Um, but yeah, that that uh, that one ride that I took from from Devin to bring him home. Um, he worked downtown. I was like, yeah, cool. I'll get a ride and head back towards downtown. Because usually that works for me is, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Rather, rather than do these little short trips, you know, I do the the $20, uh, $20 rides that gets me downtown and turn around and go back this way. I do about four of those. And by that time, you know, I'm almost set to uh, to either find a airport ride and then haul it in, you know. Um, okay, this is right behind me. Uh, golf Brook. Let me see if I get it. Uh, head to your pickup at Lifetime Fitness. Just ahead, turn left on Barringer Lane. Chris, Chris, Chris. I think I've been there before, man, to be honest with you. Turn left on uh, Barringer Lane. But let me uh, make a Yui. 
in uh, on Behringer, pick up Chris, take him to Friendswood. Uh, I think that's where he's going. Actually, he's going to Houston. Uh, Friendswood and Houston is not that very far from each other. But yeah, man, it's a, it's been a lot of back and forth, back and forth. So you know, huh? You know, sometimes when it rains, it pours. You know, and that's just the name of the game. So, uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and pick up Chris, take him to uh, where he needs to be, and hopefully I can get something back. And then um, if nothing transpires through, guys, I'm just calling it a night. Okay, uh, save my fuel for tomorrow. Okay. Um, there's no need to just drive in circles and wait for something and burn fuel, even though I can go somewhere and just turn off the car. And it is cool outside. It's, uh, like 48 degrees, but overall guys, yeah, um, I hit a wall, <laughs> I hit a wall. So, uh, <gasps> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. But unless a miracle happens, guys, yeah, my night's going to be, uh, kind of, kind of like, um, how can I say this? Uh, kind of, kind of be, huh? Kind of like in the crapper, okay. But then again, any blessing is a good blessing, right? You know. Um, right now, I'm hovering around uh, a buck sixty, okay. And I've been out since uh, eight o'clock. Here we are, three twenty-one. So yeah, I kind of want to finish the night decent, guys. I want to finish the night decent. Um, Last night, like I said, I finished 190 the night before. Just ahead, turn left on Silverman Street. The night before, I finished 247. So, man. But you know what, guys? Mondays are... Turn left on Silverman Street. Mondays are, for some reason, my slowest nights. Okay. Mondays are somewhat my slowest nights. So, you know, I may take it in the chin. Okay? But not without a good fight. Okay? But sometimes even the fighter has to kind of somewhat throw in the towel. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let me go pick up Chris, and then I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, guys. All right, right, right. That is a wrap. That is a wrap for tonight, guys. It is slow for me tonight. It is slow. I'm finishing the night roughly around 1. I'll say 1, uh, 60, 170. Uh, it's 4.15, uh morning traffic's gonna start coming out and uh i'm probably gonna go out this afternoon guys just for a little bit just to uh tack on some more uh but man uh i don't know what happened man i started off good i started off good and then it just went it bottomed out okay it went you know it bottomed out uh but then again i mean mondays are my slowest nights you know i i normally finish around 200 um uh, but overall, guys, I mean, it, it was a slow night. It was a slow night. So uh, it is what it is, guys. I mean, you know, like I said earlier, you know, not all of them are going to be winners. Um, you just gonna have to take the good with the bad and then go from there. Okay. So I'll do my numbers in the morning, guys. But just FYI, you know, um, things, you know, things happen. You know, uh, sometimes canceled rides, uh, uh, no shows are a blessing in disguise um and sometimes they're not sometimes they can just basically throw a monkey wrench in in your whole uh um activity so uh but yeah i mean it is what it is guys i mean we live and learn you know i'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the, on the back burner uh put it behind us put it in the back window however you want to look at it and just go from there so uh but other than that guys yeah i mean it's a wrap for me it's 417 I got me some water burger. I'm going to eat real quick and then head to the house. But yeah, um, like I said, it started off good, but then it just went south. So uh, it happens, guys. It happens. So with that being said, guys, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'll do my numbers in the morning and I'll see you, see you then. Peace out.